Welcome to my channel. This is Tama and I'm playing Gobble Cop Rogue. So we were investigating our suit. Suits whereabouts, right? Let's go. Oh. Can you help me out here? Be a man, pig. Why make such a big deal? How can I assist you, officer? I'm trying to catch this one shifty dealer. This guy steals nuke from other pushers to sell it at half price. This dope head buys from him but won't tell me his whereabouts. I don't know any dealer. You were carrying for three different pushers, so you either like to walk for miles to buy nuke, or you appreciate a discount. Don't take it out on me, because the guy broke your nose? As you can see, he doesn't want to cooperate. Allowing dealers to steal from each other may result in less drugs on the street. What? That would suck. You need to stop him, then. The guy's name's Maurice, but I don't know where to find him. I always arrange a place over a payphone. I'll give you the number. Let's hope it works. The dealer knows where the others hide their stash. We could collect nuke from the whole neighborhood if we get to him. I will take care of it. But you need to find a payphone first. Try near the supermarket. I think at least one of them hasn't been smashed by vandals yet. She takes off her top and says, Hey, this is a private conversation, pig. <coughs> what? Is this Maurice? Listen, man, I'm really swamped with the laundry right now. So make it quick. So you would not want to earn some money, would you? I don't! I mean, I do. I do want to earn money. But wait. Your voice. <laughs> you sound like... A future happy customer. Fucking Robocop! You want to bust me? Why don't you do a better <laughs> job of finding guys who vandalize phone booths? I'm losing customers because they can't find working payphone in this goddamn... What the fuck is it this time? Is anybody home? John, hi, Maurice. It's just a friendly visit. You like to do laundry? You should try working at the laundromat instead of violating the basic rules. Robocop, you have to help me! The back of the red building by the supermarket! Apartment 6! There's some guy 
guys here! I think they mean business! Hurry! He's on the phone! Well, for that guys, I cannot help it. Start shooting again. Make sure the kids hide under the bed. This guy has a laundry schedule. Just came here. Listen, guys, I'll never touch your stuff again. I swear. That's not why we're here. 
So what do you want? The money? I have your money. You only have half of it, and that's the problem. You're selling our product at half price. That makes my customers complain about my prices. It ain't nice, Maurice. Maybe you think that building a customer base by selling your product under its manufacturing costs is a good idea. Under what? But it's not. Such practices are spoiling the market. It's been proven time and time again that such action leads to a reduction of future demand, yours included. Antitrust laws are there for a reason. Shit, Maurice! All we want to say is that you violate the basic rules of the market with your predatory pricing. We can't just go along with that. It's unfair and unethical. Not to mention illegal. What the fuck? You are under arrest. Come quietly, or this may be the last economics discussion you will ever have. Get him! Oh shit, man! Why did you do that? What am I gonna sell now? There are serious charges against you, Maurice. However, you can hope for a reduced sentence if you reveal where these three dealers keep their drugs. Or I can jump into that pile of garbage below. A few bruises is better than jail. Do you know what the likelihood is of surviving that? I know the hood better than you do, cop. So try some different talk, or I'll jump. Even if you escape, such as how to get you, you will be safer in prison. I missed our meeting. I was busy, but he doesn't get that. Doing laundry is important to me. It relaxes me. If you cooperate, you can get a job at the prison laundry. You mean I eat and live for free? And I do what I like to do anyway? <sighs> I, I I feel like I won the lottery, man. I'll tell you where these jerks kept the stuff, but I have to have our deal in writing. Okay, let's go for soup. down there. He's an asshole. Okay, at least I got something. I was not uh, going empty-handed back. At least. Cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business. Which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. 
Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that, because you don't have a warrant, do you? What a douchebag. Okay, then I will uh, search for blues. Have you witnessed the owner participating in any criminal activity? Are you kidding me? Half the things I've seen around here would be enough to put him behind bars for a decade. Let us hear your statement. No way, dude. He might be a douchebag, but if you lock him up, this place will get closed down and... Where am I supposed to play hooky then? School may seem now like a difficult option, but it will pay off in the future. Future? Look on the street. You must have a microwave for a brain if you think that. Okay, I was unable to pursue him. Persuade him. Amazing colors, and there's not one but two of you. Your body readings suggest substance misuse. Oh man, a real like TJ laser? You are so incredibly shiny. I'm definitely getting more of this stuff. Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say, but you are my <clears throat> TV hero, so all right. Uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you, as long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke, but I have a great idea. You, you could help me sneak into the basement to keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! I don't know who DJ is. Is that the ocean? Oh, I'm so pregnant. Suits later, huh? Let's see. What he has to say. Yeah. Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem. <laughs> I 
corazón. It's Robocop! Surrender your weapons. Open the door, or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo! Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant! Hey, don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you! One of you is not a real torchette. But just an imitator. I knew there was something off about you. Me? It's you. I always suspected you never went through initiation. Take that back! Or what? You hot headed bastards! For fuck's sake, don't shoot! I'm gonna open the door! <laughs> Tell me, where can I find soot? Straight to business, huh? Looks like you're my type of guy. But even if I wanted to help you, I can't. Only his closest people know his whereabouts. I just distribute his stuff, and to be completely honest, I don't want or need to know more than when the next shipment is coming. You must know the location they mentioned. Tell me where they took the police informant. And if I tell you, what's in it for me? Does everything you do have to come with a benefit? I'm a businessman. That's the only language I speak. How about the value of your life? Who would care more to save it, police or soot? Let's say I'm convinced. They've taken him to the ghost house. It's what they call one of their sites. From what I've gathered, it's that big, burned-down building a bit down the road. Anyway, that's all I know. That will have to suffice for now. लेकिन अभी मेरा सर्चिंग बाकी है सब लॉक्ड है जरूर इंजीनियरिंग लेवल सिक्स चीज़ 
लगता है ये उसी बिल्डिंग का सिक्योरिटी लगाया हुआ है इंजीनियरिंग सिक्स रिक्वायर्ड दिखाता है Dispatch requesting a squad car. This is what I'm going to do. Those people on first floor are paranoid. They put blinds in the windows. Can't watch the TV no more. Oh, 
same drink thing in public. Public drinking is against the law. Public? But well, this is my private sofa. I've dragged it all the way from the junkyard. And this guy is probably homeless. I issue a ticket here. I will let you go this time, but remember that drinking in an unsuitable environment can lead to severe consequences. Well, that's the whole point. to be some shooting I guess
Pampiono begins nothing. Are you with the police, informant? 
Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. And my service is free. No, of course not. You're right. You did save my skin. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis, Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickles. Eh, <laughs> and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I went after them hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know? But it turned out to be groceries, so they left it. I made a free penny that day selling pickles. Still have a couple of jars laying around if you want them. So you are an opportunist. Hey, I prefer a street entrepreneur. You know what they say, good business is where you find it. Nice to be free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. Do you think Briggs is in trouble? Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. Oddly enough, he always tells me to be careful when getting info. But the truth is, I'm not the one running around gangster's paradise dressed in blue. How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom. And I've been in his debt ever since. <coughs> he even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though. His missus don't seem very fond of me. You seem proficient in undertaking police tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh, no. One thing you should know about me. I love cops. You know, law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great ideas, but so is Nuke, and when I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say, you can only serve one master. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, uh, about that, I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib. It's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Hmm. 
It sounds bad when you say it like that, but still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh, boy. You're a tough negotiator. But surely you owe me now. I gotta chillax after all this. I have more urgent matters on hand. Meet me later at Briggs' place. Yeah, you gotta save the city. That's fine by me. I'll see you later. Okay. Only these two missions are available. I think uh, after getting a hold of suit, I can uh, really look for this. We found the same place where the suit is. Waiting as food is waiting. Let's see. The map is not that big, you can see. These places are uh, not even unlocked yet. I have to go here. If the area is high up, it should be pale, tangled, and... What? This is my primary objective. Then if I... Travel... Side objectives will be failed. Oh, man. Alright, it's only for me putting it this. No. Oh, he's already here. Hey, Tin Man, over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. So in the beginning, get some seconds. Apartment back. 21. <laughs> you say, oh, man, man, my hands are sweaty. Yes. Are you going into a drug related withdrawal? Do you require medical assistance? Uh, what? No, I'm just nervous. You and Gail have a complicated relationship. She's good at reading people. I'm the type of person that doesn't like to be read. I know that I'll do something she doesn't do. Steal a watch. Mike, steal a watch. Let me 
nice, nice, nice and found something. Right. Let's try and check if we go or not. <laughs> Apartment 21 it was, it's 13. Are you here about Mike? Yes, I am sorry to hear about your husband. Oh, Gail. no, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you going to steal? Uh, funny you should say that. I can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. Are you any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you could tell me about his disappearance? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. I heard that he was looking into reports of bodies going missing. An old lady approached him at the precinct and told him a sob story about how she couldn't afford to bury her husband. Can you believe that? Anyway, when she finally collected enough money and went back to the morgue, only to find that they had lost her husband's body, Mike went to check it out and never came back. Where was the last location that he was seen? I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction. That that's where the leads were taking him. I tried to convince him not to go. It seemed dangerous, but he felt sorry for that old lady. He went against his own rules and me. He left angry because we'd been arguing. Do you remember the exact location? He never told me, but maybe it's in his files. Why do you think that Pickles is involved in your husband's disappearance? My husband's a good man. Sometimes too good for his own sake. He believes in second chances, even if someone doesn't deserve them. Like Pickles. That unappreciative asshole constantly gets himself into trouble. I mean, who's always there to get him out? You guessed it, salt of the earth, Mike. Pickles has a bad influence on my husband. I think I have everything I need for now. Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Now I just need to break it down for our son. He does not know? I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid and I think he suspects something. Could you maybe tell him to come home? It's getting late, and the streets aren't safe these days. He normally dawdles, but having you tell him should <laughs> light a fire in his britches. I will make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends. Mm. Also, because abuse substance name. Okay, this, this guy is really interesting. Should I check more? Or do I check? This 
nothing more to say. That went pretty much as expected. We are not done. We're not? You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what type it is. Is... is that a movie quote or something? I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. We must get to the basketball court. That's just around the corner. Um, are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it, like, time to kick my ass? We are going to remind Gail's son that it is past curfew. Oh, Daniel. Sure. <laughs> ah, bummer. He's not here. Maybe these guys saw him? Good evening, citizens. I need... Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. You are not the only ankle breaker on this basketball court. And that's letting you off easy. I've seen him do way worse for less. Shit, I, I was just messing with you. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. Yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. I see a couple of drawings over there. This was drawn not long ago. Ah, there's more over there. an investigation. Daniel! Come on, kid! Where are you? You should be somewhere. Shoe print, size 7. That's gotta be his. What about over there? No, it is locked. They did not go inside. you have like a scanning thing in your eyes. Yes, it allows me to see things that are not there anymore. Oh, so it's kind of like new. Oh, 
Ой, боже. Вот и все. What the fuck? That was close. We better hurry. Do it. Come on. End him. What are you waiting for? Fuck him up. He's laughing at you. Hey, what the hell's going on over there? Yo! Daniel! No. It's the cops. I don't want to go to jail for this shit. Is that a gun? Oh, you're in so much trouble, kid. No, it's not. Whoa! What the hell? You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing, so he can't tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone got the drop on him. But that's not going to happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say... Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Come on. Sit down. We need to talk. Those friends of yours... They take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know dad is such a stickler for the rules? Because okay. he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes strength. And you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? Your father has enough strength for the both of us. He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage, half dead and covered in vomit. And instead of writing him off, your father opened his home to him because that's the right thing to do. That's strength. Don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support now? No. See, you already know what to do. You can start by giving her this. She's looking for it. Is he going to arrest me? No, it's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning. Right? Right. It's late. Let's get you home. Well, you tell my mom about the gun? No. She doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. Hey, partner. What's the status on the old slaughterhouse? I have to take care of something. We can go there soon. Sure thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done. Hmm. Drive to the old slaughterhouse. I think I will... Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more.